On the same day that the female undergoes her egg collection, the male is asked to provide a sperm sample for insemination of the eggs in the lab. In the weeks leading up to egg collection day, we recommend that you ejaculate a few times a week to help keep the sperm healthy and minimise the amount of naturally occurring sperm DNA damage. However, we do recommend that you abstain from ejaculation three to five days before the egg collection day. On the day that you are due to provide your sperm sample, you are allowed to collect the sample in a private room at the CFC clinic, or you can do it at home. If you collect the sample at home, you must have it to the clinic within an hour. Once the embryologist receives your sperm sample, they will analyse and prepare it for insemination. With semen analysis, we're looking at five sperm parameters. The first one is count, how many sperm there actually are. We also then look at volume, how, how much of the sam sample we actually have. We then look at the pH, which is how acidic or basic the sample is. Uh, we then look at motility, which is how the sperm are moving. Are they swimming straight? Are they swimming in circles? Are they not moving at all? Um, which is, sometimes happens. We also look at morphology, which is how the sperm look, how the head connects to the tail, are the necks on straight, are they bent, do they have two heads, two tails, things like that. The sample is then spun in a centrifuge through a density gradient that does the same thing as a sieve, separating the best sperm from the rest. These are spun and washed again and set aside for insemination.